Hello again everyone and welcome back to the channel. We're going to finally finish Car Cup number 5. I know it's been a little while in the making. Uh, but you know, this is the finals. Uh, and we're going to jump into the first map from the finals between Descara and Catharsis. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be very exciting. The first map here is going to be on the shallows. We have Catharsis playing as the Conef. And uh, I assume then he has um, selected Con Well, I shouldn't assume. That's just the rules. He will be Conef for this entire final. That means it's so all three maps there. He was Conef as well uh, last time when he played with Descara. Don't want to spoil that, but of course, Catharsis did actually go undefeated in the qual- Well, I mean, I say I don't want to spoil it, and then I do. What I'm really trying to say there is, if you don't want it to get spoiled, you better look at it right now. But anyway, uh, <laughs> going undefeated in the qualifier does mean he did, in fact, beat um, Descara as the uh, Conef as well. So that was a really fun match. It was really exciting because I also did not expect it. Um, I generally would have thought that uh, Descara was the favored player there. Then again, the map was Galzian Territories. This is going to be a best of three with the player's map picks. It's not going to be random like it was last time, so we'll really get to see then... <laughs> I see! <laughs> I was about to say, we'll really get to see, you know, what these players can bring to the table in a best of three. This should be like a definitive example of who's, who, who's better in like a series at this point. We're gonna see three base runners, so, you know, Catharsis, no respect here, gonna go for some Blast Drone Cheese, so, that's exciting. You know my favorite, my favorite 3v3 strategy, though I've never seen it come to fruition, but it's to play as Conaf, just make tons of Blast Drones, get 40 of them, and then drive up to your opponent and destroy their carrier with the Blast Drones. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is redonkulous. I, I would never consider doing this against, um... He's getting powers of one, too! You monster! <laughs> I would never consider doing this against Descara. I'd be way too, uh, way, way too uh, scared. I was about to say that. LAV Fabrication coming out, though, in, only in about, you know, 22 seconds here. So he has correctly assumed Descara would go for support cruiser first. That is the case. Descara probably ought to put power onto weapons as fast as possible. Oh! Okay, it looked almost like Descara had actually killed those with the, um... With the whatever they're called, with the debt pack, but I don't, I don't think that was the case. I think they just, they detonated on two soldiers, so he was willing to take that trade. I don't think I would have myself, but I'll have to see. Anyway, Discara definitely needs to begin producing LAVs pretty much right now, um, in order to counter this, and he should be fine, really. I mean, yeah, he, he is producing them. He's got powers of one, and so he can put the power into weapons. That should stop the blast drums from getting back here. So I really feel like, I really feel like uh, Discara not in much trouble, but they have gotten back. They've gotten past him. How is this possible? Oh no, but that one. Oh. Oh no. So he's gonna realize he needs to get this one in order to get any value out of it. What happened there was, you know, I think I talked about this with um, Tarn Armor's game as well. But blast drones will often, they'll go after like the if if you just move them in, they are already targeting something, and once they run past it, they'll blow up. So instead of getting, you know, perhaps four salvagers here, you only got one there. It's really painful. You know, you live by the cheese, you die by the cheese, am I, am I right? So, <laughs> what are his resources like? Catharsis barely even stacking enough resources to remake his economy. This is, this is like, definitely an all-in, obviously. That goes without saying, but this is crazy. Uh, but his carrier is going to probably get this LAV if the cruise missile is good. No, the cruise missile is after the base burn, so he's not going to get the LAV right there. LAV may try to come back in here, try to get some damage up on the blast uh, on the base runners. Really, what that LAV would do up there is it would stop the base runners from being able to produce more blast drones. But did you just catharsis? Do not, no, do not retire this guy. If this guy dies, his chances of having an economy are over. Garmel, uh, dis Garmelator, Discara, where are you headed over here? There's no economy over there. <laughs> this isn't all in, man. <laughs> you gotta get with the times, yo. But look at this, Catharsis does not have enough money to open up one of the wreck bulkheads. So I mean, oh look, a turret goes up there, but he takes out with the blast drone. So I mean, if, unless he's mining from here, he literally cannot mine anywhere. But look at the power reserves that he get for having three artifacts like that. He's gonna take out this AAV probably, just cruise missile right there, right there, right there, you know, take it out. He's chasing down the carrier. Personally, I would actually prefer him going in here, but... Oh my goodness, this is insane. Because then also you can get the uh, logistics module. These guys have no escape, so they're definitely going to die. And then you can restart your economy, but I suppose... No, this guy cannot die. Don't let him die, Catharsis. <laughs> no. No. He's getting shot at. 
You can't you can't let this guy die. I'll cry. Excellent death pack right there. It does get a good hit there, but it's not gonna kill the two blast drones. This time he's targeting the LAV, that's proper. Gonna get two damage on the support cruiser. But what if Salve was not killed? No, you gotta keep pushing in, man. You gotta keep pushing in. I think he's just now realized that the carrier is not there. And he's just now realized that there's no eco over here. So, <laughs> both players are a little surprised by this, but... Man. No, Catharsis, you gotta go in there. You gotta go in there. I think, I think he wins if he goes in here, because his opponent can't produce anything else either. Both players kind of have an equal chance of starting an economy there, but it, the longer he waits, the more... The more nasty this is going to get for him, I think. I think his window is already beginning to close there. If he can get, you know, control of this area too, I suppose he could win by artifacts, but with this many AAVs, I really don't think that's going to happen. Cruise missiles coming down on the AAVs. Kind of blind firing in there, did not... Well, no, he actually could see that, but... He's not quite able to get the hit right there. But these had better be the best cruise missiles of his life. That one's really good right there. He can use smoke here for some time. These guys, and I really think he should. He should pop the smoke right here. Descara knows this is his win condition, you know, this is how Catharsis plans to win here, but he is on two base, isn't he? Oh, I guess his carrier is moving out again, but... Probably another smoke from this base runner would be good now. Although one of these guys still has smoke too, this one right here, so... Oh, but they're splitting up there, I don't like that move because then of course it's harder for them to smoke each other. Oh, man! Those are really good hits right there. Good smoke there on the carrier as well. More smokes coming down on these base runners. And Descara frantically trying to kill these base runners before the artifacts show up, but frankly I don't even think he needs to. I think he's in enough of a stable position that he'll be fine actually. You should really get in on top of the base runner there, because then then if the cruise missile hits the AAVs, it hits the base runner too, so Catharsis is never going to do that. Artifact gets picked up right here, and that one is going to make it through actually. This is pretty risky now for, for Piscara. Oh, the Salvager's going to go down now. That's... okay, so the only unit that Catharsis has in this game now are these base runners, which can never reheal, mind you, and his carrier. This is not looking good for him. I think, I think, oh no, he blew up his own artifact there. I think, uh, it's definitely a good try by Catharsis, but he should have moved in here with his carrier. He should have taken out this base and then started up an eco of his own, and maybe he could have, maybe he could have pulled that one through, but this I don't think is ever really going to work for him, because that would essentially have been like saying, okay, hey, let's restart the game, except I have three artifacts. <laughs> You know what I mean? And I feel like that would have been really... I feel like that would have been really beneficial for him, but... Other artifact goes down as well. Catharsis does not have the money to remake any artifacts, and so now it's just a question of can he kill his opponent's carrier? Um, and, you know, with a base being, you know, actively mined right here, there's also long distance mining going on that side. All he needs to do is just get Railgun Fabrication, that's what he's doing. Get Power Reserves, that's what he's doing. I really don't see a way that Catharsis can pull this one out now. So we're gonna we're gonna fast forward just a little bit. Get to the next moment when action comes out, so Railgun Fabrication finishes. Go to the production tab here. He's not actually making railguns just yet, although I'm sure he will momentarily. Yeah, there they go. So he's coming back here, trying to besiege that eco, but there is no eco there. There's a little jump there. He even fired missiles back over here, you noticed, but... So much time now for Descara to build up a railgun force. And I suppose it's possible Descara could, like, choke somehow horribly and lose this, but I mean... I really don't see it happening at this point. Carrier you're taking railgun shots already. And he's just gonna GG out. He knows, he knows that's not ever gonna work for him, so that's the end of the game right there. Catharsis, way to start out this series, man. I'm... <laughs> I'm excited, you know? <laughs> I am excited. I know that might not have been the, uh... Might not have been the most recommended way to proceed, but I am excited. Let me just load map 2 in here real quickly. 
I'm gonna go exit game. Let's look at the stats here. I'm actually kind of interested to look at the stats. <laughs> okay. That's what it looks like when you do stuff like this. <laughs> Alright, map two is gonna be on the boneyard. Welcome to the boneyard. And this is um <clears throat> this is probably not gonna be cheese here. I think yeah, that's kinda like the kind of thing that you like to try out when you're in the qualifiers and you've already clinched it, you know you're moving on, or uh when you're in like map two of a best of three and you've already won map one. In this case, in map one, which I think is really gutsy from him, but you don't try cheese when there's actually like loss on the line usually, so but, you know, who knows? I mean, he, <laughs> he pulled it out in the grand finals with Descara, so he could pull it out in map two as well. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Descara also going to be thinking similar things, I assume, so he'll be wondering now where exactly this game is headed. So, Catharsis spawning up here in the north side. Um, this one... This one right here tends to be a little harder for me to defend, but it's easier to defend the second, so... Um, that'll be interesting to see how that plays out. This area right here, very, very open, so it's a little bit easier to defend the main, um, but harder to defend your second. Wait. Didn't I just say that? No, sorry. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is it's easier to defend your second, right? Because, um... Am I? I'm just gonna stop saying anything, because I feel like I can't get it right now. Anyway! Uh, it's not gonna be cheese from Catharsis. He's going for Sandskinner Fabric. Yeah, just ignore that I was talking about, like, seconds and whatever. Basically, I, I, I'll, I'll say it, alright? The idea is that because this area here is way open, it's actually usually a little bit easier to attack into here, um, and get the second on your way back out, because there's a hill moving up as you move away from the second. Whereas on this one, it's a lot harder to attack the second base, um, but it is a little bit easier to come in here, because there's also a hill on the ridge there. So you can be up on a hill getting high ground on anyone down there, and so your opponent has to fight you on this ridge, kind of. So it's 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 kind of interesting. Plays out differently every time, I suppose. <clears throat> anyway, it's not going to be cheese from Catharsis. Uh, he is probably saving up for refinery mode. He's got a couple of skimmers coming out onto the field. Looks like pretty typical, you know, economic start for Galazian, but not so much that he's willing to risk getting LAV rushed or anything like that. It's pretty standard. Uh, or maybe he's not saving up for refinery, but I'm not sure. No, actually, so he's gonna move out with this production cruiser now. So, not totally sure what he's headed for there. Descara going early LAVs, very early rails. Um, and I gotta say, this is probably because of, you know, probably because of the mind games here, because he knows his opponent last time did some kind of cheese, he needed rails to finish it off. This time he's researching them again. But he does see the sand skimmers. he could cancel that if he wants to, but, um, assuming Catharsis goes for, like, the, uh, the assault ship line, that will actually be fine for him, so probably he wants to just finish Railgun Fabrication, then see what his opponent is up to. Focus Fire not great on these LAVs, and one of them is going to get picked off by the Skimmers. He is kind of losing some early map control there. Um, <clears throat> that's not particularly surprising, Catharsis investing pretty heavily into, um, into some Sand Skimmers in the beginning. Probably Refiner, no, he's going to go for Soul Chip. So, at this point then he definitely is going to try to do some kind of an assault ship push or maybe like an air transition push, I'm not totally sure, but it's not going to be economic at all for him. Uh, it's going to be some time now before he gets his economy figured out. Another LAV going to get popped out right here, but it looks like he will lose a skimmer. Probably going to, uh, he could maybe take this LAV as well, he's going to try it. He's running in there, he's in range of two of them firing with three, so that's good gonna take that one out. So if you look at the units lost, that should explain the situation here. Just Scara losing three, Catharsis losing one, so very good micro there from Catharsis. Definitely gaining a little bit of control in the early game here, but not enough to be able to push in. That's why I'm a little curious why he hasn't gone for refinery mode, because if assault ships are the choice for him, they're gonna come out very late here. Salvager getting harassed just a little bit now. He's gonna take out another LAV, it looks like. It's Getting to get a little bit sloppy for Descara, but he is putting down a turret, that should stop things, and this sand skimmer here, kinda hung out to dry, he's gonna go down as well. Oh, uh, oh, oh! <laughs> I, okay, I didn't notice that. Well done, Catharsis, well done. The reason he wasn't paying attention with his skimmer is because a blast drone just came in and cleared out everything. My goodness. <laughs> you monster! <laughs> this, this cannot be legal. 
Okay, now he's going for refinery mode. So he's just done so much economic damage, he's gonna get onto a second base, go for an air rush. Tharsis, you're really selling me on these tactics, man. <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> this is like... Oh my goodness. <laughs> what an exciting finals. I'm very glad it was between these two players, you know what I mean? Obviously, I was kind of sad at the moment that I wasn't gonna be in them, but I mean, honestly, it would have been like... Me just getting beaten by Discara because he just tends to be better than me enough that it's almost not even a question he'll win the series. But instead we have Catharsis <laughs> doing crazy things that I would just never even think of trying. And it's kind of working, you know? <laughs> he's got an Assault Chip out on the field here. There is Railgun Fabrication, so he's not going to be too worried about that, but... He has not scouted it yet, and so he does not know either that... Oh, he hasn't even scouted this Blast Drone here. He thought it was, I think... No, I don't know if he thought it was something. Never mind. But he has not scouted the blaster and he doesn't know it's there. He has not scouted these soul chips. He doesn't know that he needs to be making rail guns now. Oh my goodness. Power Reserve 1 comes out because he senses he's going to be on the defense, and that is indeed true. Looks like his base runner is going to be the one to scout the emergence of those assault chips there. Probe took a little bit of damage from the, from the base runner. He's going to grab this artifact right here, but the assault chip ready to ready to chase him out with that. I do like the the one LAV here on the extraction zone just to make sure his opponent doesn't have one sand skimmer on the extraction zone because um, that's a very common thing to do. It looks like the base runner will be killed. Kaboom! There goes the big purple explosion as the artifact gets taken out and now it's Railguns coming out for Discard because he knows there's assault ships here. And he'll be on time for the assault ships but there's two interceptors in the pipe already and the no sign of anti-air here from Discara. And like, waiting for support cruiser anti here is going to be too long, I think. I think he really needs to go for missile batteries, but he doesn't even know. I, he might have seen it just then, but I'm not sure if there is actually a tell on the... Um, yeah, there's no tell on the kind of carrier when they get air, so he's not even going to know because of that. Assault ships now trying to poke in here, but they can't because of the railgun, but here come the air units. They're going to take out the railgun and the turret. I think that's what he's going to have to go after. And once those two go down, these assault ships are free to enter. They can beat AAVs, obviously, in the one-on-one -on -one fight. They can beat, uh, you know, LAVs. That should go without saying. There goes the railgun. And here come the assault ships. Probably he wants to get this turret, though. Yeah, and he's going to target the turret there. There it goes. Well, I guess it's going to take two shots. Interceptors, man. Like, someone needs to teach these guys how to aim, but... <laughs> So he's going to go for the railgun first. I can't say I disagree with that one either. Um, but he probably ought to just launch these other units that he's got in the pipe as well. Because the turret also needs to go down for these a uh, for these assault ships to get their damage in. He's going to fly in here. Take out the turret. Alright, so now... Now he's going to come in. The AAV is going to go down here. The Scar probably wants to smoke that up now. No, he's not going to though. Maybe trying to save his smokes for, um, like, the eco, but obviously, like, the AAV that was getting shot, he doesn't have a smoke now, you know what I mean, so. But excellent, excellent, uh, micro, you know, blocking that from Discar. He's gonna take out one of the assault ships, even. But two more blast drones in the area. And what has Discara got for anti-air now? These blast drones, they have to run in there. Oh my gosh. But there's an AAV, okay, so the AAV does stop blast drones pretty effectively, because it'll also slow them down. Discar sees them now, he knows. The blast drones now, they're gonna get hunted unless they do something, so I think they should just kinda suicide on this AAV right here. But they're gonna go down for nothing actually, not sure I like that. So, a little bit too idle with those blast drones, I feel. But, uh. But man. It looks so questionable at the start, but kind of be uh, beginning builds are often so much like this, where like. You're like, what is he doing? Like, he hasn't committed to anything yet. And then suddenly, you know, he gets one blaster on him, and you're like, oh, actually, I realize now that he had this huge strategy coming in this whole time, you know what I mean? AAV kind of getting sawed on by these um, air units right here. Uh, launching three more now. And Catharsis, of course, Discara is a pretty prolific air player, but Catharsis is like the air player. Um, he's taken out a support cruiser with it. He already got the sick blast drone hits on that base anyway. Discar really having a hard time just getting anything set up here, but he has repelled the AAV, uh, the assault ship push. He does have two missile batteries, not even just one. 
He is also almost stopping this uh, artifact here, but the smoke there uh, reduces quite a lot of the damage that AV was going to do on the base runner. At this point, Catharsis needs to move into some kind of a heavy hitter, but he's playing Con F, so he goes for Siege Cruiser Fabrication. It's obviously going to be a good move right there, and he is almost on three bases. He's about to be once this production cruiser gets here. Discar is still struggling to get onto two. And he's making this look easy. <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. This is really exceptional play here from Catharsis. I'm so excited. If I sound excited, it's because I'm excited. I think Magpie used to always say that. Because this is really, this is such an interesting matchup right here. And look how much power he has available to him, because once again, he's got three artifacts right in the beginning game. Interceptor's going to be used against LAVs. We don't usually see this. Although, actually, they're going to back away, it looks like. Let's see. He has even gotten Afterburner for them, so they're speedy, quick units. Look at them, 600 speed when you get that six times as fast as a Sand Skimmer. They can actually outrun missiles, you know what I mean? So, like... If one of them's gonna die and a missile gets launched at it, just just hit D. It'll run back to the carry, it'll dock. Won't even get hit. It's crazy, you know what I mean? Okay, Discara getting now onto two bases here. These air units like Hungry Hungry Hippos looking for some avenue of attack. They're not gonna find it though. Discara is covering quite well with these missile batteries. They know. They know exactly where they ought to be. I mean, isn't he just like a shark, though? You know, moving around, looking for some place where he can attack, and there he finds one. Does some good damage onto this AAV, takes about half of its health out. Uh, Mortar comes out on this assault ship. So many shots coming in on it. Probably wants to smoke right here. And he's not going to smoke there. I think I, think I would have if I were him, just to reduce the damage. But he is actually taking this fight, is Discaro. If Catharsis can get over hills and such, um, and like reheal, which is what he's doing, then he'll still kind of come out on top of this because he wouldn't lose any units, but in this case, I think this guy is definitely going to go down. But, um, let's see, armor 3 coming in for Discaro. It's only armor 1 for Catharsis. And with that upgrade advantage, Discaro is beginning to take that, but now the Conf Carrier coming out here. Da -dum. Da -da, you know, just kind of slowly inching his way across the map. Another mortar ready to fire down on these units. Excellent hit right there. And with armor 3 out, you know, like, he's not even taking damage on this missile ship, honestly. Like, this is good enough of a tank unit on its own. I think Catharsis thought, well, at least I can take this one out. But the upgrade came in during the fight, so we didn't realize how much armor his opponent had right there. Oh, but look at this. Okay, so missile, uh... Interceptor's coming in again with the Sand Skimmers as well. They're going to take out the support cruiser while the AAVs are distracted. Smoke comes down in it, but remember, air units can shoot through smoke, so he needs to fly in there, take it out. That's what he's going to do. There it goes. Going to lose one interceptor for it, but that is definitely worth it. Not even Discar with his godlike smoke micro, which, by the way, that was pretty high tier smoke micro right there. But that's not even going to matter when you're against... Oh, but look at the mortar. It's not even going to matter when you're against Catharsis with all of his air units. Good thing he had Sandskimmer Armor 1. I know without Armor 1, they like they almost died of one hit of like the mortar. And with that Assault Ship being taken out, you know, Discara looking like he can move out here, kind of, but no way. There's a Siege Cruiser, you know what I mean? Like, just everything covered right here. Um, this has got to be Catharsis game, you know? His opponent's still on one and a half bases, you know? Uh, I can't see quite how long. it's. It's been like um, 13 minutes into this game, he's still not even on two bases. Catharsis has been on three this whole time. Eventually, this is just going to have to end. Cruise missiles coming out from the carry, not even going to drop the artifact. Look at that. That is pretty clutch right there. And Descara just going to GG out. He knows it's over. That's crazy. Catharsis, my man. Like, <laughs> people could have argued that in the qualifier, it looked like you just kind of got lucky with the map pick, like you got lucky with the positioning on the base and whatever, but this... This was a masterpiece right here. That was exceptional play there. I am so excited now for game three of the series. Oh my goodness. Speaking of which, let's load that into the replay viewer here. Oh boy. <clears throat> so map two was um, Discara's pick. Map three is going to be Catharsis pick. What is he going to pick? He might pick Galician Territories again if he wants to go for this kind of crazy aggression, but Discara, I'm sure he banned that one. Uh, and look, look at the disparity here, by the way. This is like the inverse of last game. 
I'm sure he banned Galzian territories for this third one. Um, not sure. And yeah, yeah, Catharsis probably banned Kalash Teeth. So we might see Torin Crater, but that's not. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good for Conev. We might see. Well, let's let's see. We can just check it out. It's gonna be Kalash Teeth. What? Catharsis, you madman! You didn't ban this? <laughs> oh man. For reference here, the reason I'm amazed he hasn't banned Kalash Teeth is because um, this is like the AAV map. This is the Assault Cruiser map, you know what I mean? So many things that can go in the Coalition player's favor. This one I'm totally fine with in like a GVG or like a KVK, but against Coalition, I, don't, I do not like playing this map right here. But he's going to do it. The reason, the reason this works out is because the rush distance on Kalash Teeth is way low. Like, if you've played the new maps that SSSS has made, you know, you know, Torn Crater with its ridiculous rush distance, like, you don't even have to make a single military unit until five minutes into the game. It's like the opposite on Kalash Teeth. Like, if you want to, you don't even need to make more than two salvagers until, like, ten minutes into the game, you know what I mean? Like, you can get insanely aggressive on this map right here. And although we think of Galzian as the aggressive faction, when the distances are short like this, actually it tends to be that the, the Coalition are the more aggressive faction here, so... So we will have to see what he plans on doing. Sandscammer Fabrication coming out early with uh, salvages being made for the production crew. This is what we saw last time, it's about the same build. Worked well for him then, you know what I'm saying? Um, LAV Fabrication gonna come out a little bit before that. And probably we'll see Zaskara do pretty similar to what he did last time with a couple of- No, yeah, it's good. Okay, it's gonna be an AAV rush. Actually, I should have guessed that, honestly. I mean, it's it's this map, you know, like, why would you not AAV rush? Um, and Descara is, like, the king of the AAV rush. He's, like, looked so deep into, like, the timings on this. He knows exactly when to make what units and where. Nobody can do it faster than him. Not that I know of. Catharsis making some sand skimmers, but that's even, like, even one sand skimmer being produced here is dangerous for him. I don't know, he picked the map, or, yeah, he actually picked this map, that's the thing, he didn't just not ban this, he picked this, so, I assume he's got a plan, <laughs> I assume he knows what he's doing, but I, I have no idea what it could be at this point, a, uh, you know, two blast drones are in the field, but they're not even gonna be able to do anything if there's AAVs, he couldn't have known it, actually, but his window to attack the carrier was, like, right then, actually, but, he, yeah, like I said, he can't know this. Okay, so we're getting plinked on by this sand skimmer here. I love the noise that I make. You just hear like the bullets hitting the metal there. It's, it's such a cool noise. One LAV kind of getting caught out here by these sand skimmers, but it can pull back, lure them into the AAV. But he's moving back now, so he can't push with that AAV because of these blast drones right here. Probably he wants to just turn on the healing now for his, or not necessarily the healing, the um the range for his carrier, so that he can attack these blast drones from slightly increased range. Blast drums do auto heal, by the way, so you can poke in, poke out, and stuff just as much as you want. The only problem is that AAVs have the uh, suppression ability, and you will not be able to get out if the AAVs start getting shots on you. Oh, and look at this. He's baiting the sand skimmers out. I mean, I can't even really consider it baiting, of course, because what are these guys gonna, like, what are the sand skimmers gonna do about the AAVs anyway? Blast drones coming back home. Looks like they're gonna try to be used against the AAVs here, but this is just. This is going to be a desperate defense if there ever was one. Cruise Missile gets launched by Catharsis a little bit blind here, but he might be right on it. Oh, he was dead on. It's just that um, Descara moved away. Must have heard the shot getting fired. You can hear it, of course, from quite a ways away. Descara now with three power. He can put, you know, one there, one there, one there. Uh, that's probably going to stop any Blast Drone Cheese from going down either. Support Cruiser comes out. He's just going to expand his eco on the back of this very powerful attack that he's about to put out to... Um, catharsis, and I gotta say, I really don't know what Catharsis is gonna do about this. I really feel like he just kind of fell into the mistake of, you know, expecting that there wasn't gonna be an AAV rush on Kalash Teeth right here. I don't know why he picked this map, I don't know why he didn't rush rails or something like that, but... This could get real hairy real fast. Those two blast drones not anywhere near here, so they're not gonna be able to contribute either. There's an AAV back at home to watch for the blast drone cheese. I think this has gotta be game right here. Maybe I'm being a bit pessimistic, I don't know, but I mean, this can definitely have a big impact on the game. Salvager's getting killed here, almost. Just barely makes it out right there, but... 
There's more smoke even on these AAVs. They can still smoke the carrier. They're going to do that just to kind of push in on the back line. Oh, there is an assault railgun. I did not even catch that. I didn't realize he had gone for railgun tuck already. But look how close he is to these AAVs. He's going to get taken out. The second one is going to pop out on top of the AAVs as well and just get taken out for nothing. This has got to be so painful here for Catharsis. Even though... Even though, like... He hasn't really lost much to the attack. His opponent is on two bases. He's going to be on three pretty soon at this rate. And he still has not managed to get any railguns out. They're just getting killed the second they pop out of that production cruiser. There he goes. Unis Lost Tab should say it all. And I think he's going for death packs. No, he's, he's going to think better of that. But Unis Lost Tab should say it all. About double for Catharsis. Suddenly the carrier sounds like it's very far away. <laughs> One salvager getting picked off there as well. I think about four salvagers have died so far. Another artifact about to score though. And he can use the smoke. Use the smoke. Use it. Oh, that's a little unfortunate, but it didn't matter too much. But it would kind of delay those AAVs just a little bit more as they would have to sit there. Oh, and the blast drones! Catharsis, how do you do it? Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. He is in this game, guys. <laughs> he is in this game. <laughs> this is un this is unreal. Until that moment, he was like very definitively losing, but he baited the AAVs with the base runner and the blast drones came in and got the sick hit right there. That was insane. Refinery mode is done for Catharsis. He can just start making uh, salvagers. He's not going to get pressured at all by these AAVs. He's got railguns already. I can't believe it. Okay, but, but he needs to start getting anti-air, um, because Discar has gotten fighter and gunship fabrication. Missile ship fabrication probably should be on the way now for Catharsis. He doesn't know it though, he's still making some assault railguns here. And he's not quite expanding as fast as he should, I don't think. He needs to really get making some salvagers as fast as possible. Probably wants to put more mobility support onto that production cruiser. Oh my gosh. He's still in this game, I can't believe it. <laughs> I mean, he really is looking at this point like he could win, actually. Like, it could be possible for him to take this game. Okay, Strike Fighter's beginning to be produced now. Catharsis has not seen it either. Of course, there is a tell on the carrier. You see these, like, crosshairs kind of show up when the air tech is finished. Um... And strike fighters are ready, the assault railguns are away from home, they're not by their production because they're all gonna get sniped out. So this is not very good at all. This is this is actually looking quite bad for him now. He still hasn't expanded his eco back up again either. He can take the fight with the um, armored assaults, of course, but he cannot he cannot take the uh, strike fighters. And strike fighters have kind of like homing missiles. It's actually worth noting that um, when your opponent does this with interceptors, assault railguns can actually dodge them. So. If you change direction once you get started, like once they start shooting at you, you can actually dodge the missile. Especially if you have dart maneuver, although I doubt he's gotten that. No, he hasn't. Um, not many people get dart maneuver, but it's like my favorite thing in the game almost. I love dart maneuver. But yeah, this is just so classic of like an air transition. It's very painful to watch, but just all the railguns will get killed, and you're just like, oh, that's gotta hurt right there. And now he knows he needs anti air, but it's not gonna come up for another half a minute. Strike fighters can come in and get another railgun if they want to. The AAVs are going to be able to push in again, and we're going to see that once more. And I was about to say, there's no base runner for Catharsis this time. You can't do more blast drone cheese, but... There it is. I, I don't know. <laughs> I doubt that's what he made that thinking, but like, hey, you know, maybe. <laughs> but at this point, it's, it's going to be way harder. Um, it would really take kind of a miracle for that to work out. So I'm thinking now that this uh, that Catharsis is really very behind in this game here. It's going to be difficult for him to get back into it. Uh, we see Strike Fighters launching for Discar again. They can take out these two Assault Railguns. There is anti-air here of course from the base runner from the production cruiser, but Discar probably knows that there wasn't time for a missile ship to be produced. One of them's on the way as you can see, but um, but he can take out the two railguns coming to the AVs. I feel like that's got to be the better choice, although he's going for economy right now. That's not bad either. He will get a couple of kills right there. He'll get a fistful of frags, eh? Never actually played that game. 
Missile ship is finished now at the production cruiser, so he does not want to stray over in that direction. That is kind of a safety net now for Catharsis. He probably wants to move that over. Oh, and the missile ship going to come too close. Going to get hit once, going to hit it twice. Oh, very nearly goes down there, but that one is actually going to make it out. And a lot of soldiers got lost there really for nothing. This is looking pretty, pretty hairy now. There's also double base burner extraction going on now for Discara. Strike fighters waiting patiently for their for their buddies to finally get in that stupid carrier. <laughs> Takes them a long time to land. Uh, these AVs not really gonna have too much of an opening, I wouldn't think. The assault railgun seems to kind of push in there. But yeah, Catharsis knows it's over, and he's gonna GG out of the game. That is gonna be the end of the series, and that is gonna be the end of Kara Cup number five. But oh my goodness, Catharsis! That was the, that was the most exciting final that I've ever watched. Well, can I get? Can I zoom out of the map again? Wait, sometimes he can do this. Maybe he can do it with the probe. No, it doesn't look like it. But wow. What a match. That was really cool. That was really cool. Well, I gotta give big props to Catharsis uh, for for doing as well as he did. Gotta give big props to Descara, of course, our tournament winner. Uh, and we will catch you for Kara Cup number 6. It's going to be starting on December 8th. I'm really excited for that one. We're, we should have quite a few big names playing. Um, but yeah, this was an incredible tournament. I'm really excited. Uh, really happy for how these finals turned out. Um, man, this is crazy. Well, I'll catch you in another video. Till then.